Hi. It's been a long time since I made video. Sorry about that. It's just high school's just tough, and midterm exams and st stuff like that. So here we have Wheeljack, Dark of the Moon, but he was known as Q in a movie. At first, I didn't know why, but then I realized why, because he was named after James Bond character who provides gadgets and stuff like that. So, Wheeljack, in my opinion, he's not my favorite character in the movie. He sh he deserves better, in my opinion. He should he needs like weapon. He's and, well, I I like how they they portrayed him as Albert Einstein and stuff like that, but it's just they kind of made him wimpy, so. But anyway, there's Wheeljack, so see, he's like a Mercedes Benz, something like that, but not like a Soundwave type. This thing is having trouble trying to stay together, and same thing, this part here. So, so here we have Wheeljack. The uh, transformation when I saw when I saw the toy, I thought the trend to make this guy and, and the transformation stuff would be easy, but. Actually, I was wrong. The hard part was to try to make these t these two flaps to become his chest. And the other one, pro the other problem is the toy. This whole top, the roof assembly folds into a legs. I couldn't do that because I tried doing it, but it was just it was just too extreme. See, as you can see, the windshields are just it's just uneven because I just transformed it because I was trying to see if it, if it um. It could work. So anyway, so transformation, I guess. What we're gonna do? We're gonna take this top, we're gonna lift this up, and just pop this side, just like that. Same thing here. Well, this was in the opposite sides. Whoops! I didn't know that. This was supposed to be supposed to be in on out. Uh, who cares? So what we're gonna do? We're gonna just we're gonna take this whole thing. Let's just take it off, cause these are are the hardest part of the transformation. The hardest part. So let's just set these aside. So and what we're gonna do here? This thing already fell cause it's so loose. Just fold it down like that. Let's start with the legs, cause the legs are just are so easier and they're actually pretty cool. And we'll just leave, lift these two up and fold them down till you get something like this. Oh uh, wait, till you get something like this. We we'll just fold it. So we'll make sure that everything's straight. Um, So this these pieces here we're gonna just leave them up, up like that. And for the legs, uh, we're gonna do here. You could you can already see his head and stuff. We're gonna bend this back. Oh, and that was oopsie. Well, the hood part's supposed to fall down. You're supposed to like fold the hood down, so I guess I'll should have start with that first. It's a little easier. And once after you have to bend this part of the leg forward. Uh, not whoops, I actually popped it out. And what we're gonna do? This is actually a cool part. We're gonna fold this this joint down and bring this part up, and we're and we're gonna rotate this. As you can see, and we're gonna try angle it to position it, and there you have his feet, and there, you, and then you have the legs, example, which is actually pretty cool. And it's a cool transformation. So we're gonna do the same to the other side, oh, wrong way. That and position it, angle, whatever, just like that, and there you have the legs. And what we're gonna do here for the top and the 
I really got it. I really need a tripod. Anyway, so oh yeah. First, let's spend this piece forward so we can try and unloosen the top part all the way off attached from the arms. So we're gonna do un. I'm gonna untab this from the arms. Just leave it like that. Do the same to the other side. Detach. Just that, and now now we're gonna assemble the arms. Then fold this, these panels back. We're gonna do. We're gonna rotate this up just like that. Yep, and fold this down. I will get back to the arms later, but and we're gonna bring this up. What we're gonna do? You see these panels? We're gonna slide this in. Just like that, and just leave it. Not leave it. Whoopsie. I'm gonna bend this up like that, and just position this. Position the arms. And there we have the that chest piece here. And we're gonna lift the arm, rotate this part of the joint. So it's so so you can move his elbows. It's best to leave it like that for now. Oh whoops. I'm supposed to do the same to the other side. So we're gonna do the same uh same thing here, we're gonna push this in, push this out. And just do the same thing. Hopefully it doesn't fall out. And the chest piece. Position the arms. The chest may not be as symmetrical. I don't know why. It's just kind of weird. Well, I know it's not that symmetric, but who cares? So pull this out and then rotate the joint in. And just leave it like that. So, position the head, and and so you, we, so we're almost done now. So we're gonna position these side panels like that, and it's time to work on the back, which is the hardest part because it's a pain. So I'm gonna. This is what we're gonna do. I can't show you guys the transformation. My, I'm sorry, but it's just. Because this is just too complicating, I had, you know, I don't want to waste my time just doing this. So I'm supposed to like bend this like that, and you you just basically put everything together, and so so you gotta make sure you have to make it sure everything's lined up. So this blue th thing will just tab into the gray piece here, so it, so it looks like this. So yeah, I'll show you guys that now. So then you get something like this, and you do the same to the other side. And there we have Q in his robot mode. So I can see here, um, you can see his uh, head, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, the hair, I use that from the, my Quinjet. If you want to see a video review on that, check out my channel. So um, there you have his gold moustache and his and a uh, Lego minifigure hands which actually which actually um try to resemble as his glasses. So this is actually it's actually a good it's actually an okay uh, figure. So here's his like um car n nipples and tires, all that stuff, his robot crotch, whatever. So yeah. The one thing about this figure it doesn't have weapons so but all we saw in the movie that he carries some kind of giant stick around which is I think it looks something like this so I just try and so I can just put it in if you see this tab right here it's gonna just tab onto the top like this 
just position it and there you have his like a giant stick thing that he carries around. I don't know why Q carries that giant stick around. Who knows what he's doing with it. <laughs> or at first I thought it was a sniper rifle but I was like no no it, he never used it anyway then. Or maybe 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 an unfinished weapon and he just likes carrying it around or he just carries that around to make him to just make him look cool and strong because he doesn't have any strength at all, just brains. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I might so I might be making a video once a month. Hopefully, now for my next video, I'm not I'm actually I actually don't know what I'm going to build. A version 2 of um of Mirage maybe I may I might be making version two of Mirage, Bumblebee, um, Starscream may be promising, but or maybe version two of Sentinel Prime, but I'll decide later. Also, see us subscribe. Mm, yeah, this is actually not a bad bad um figure, I guess. Well, yeah, so see ya.